Look what I'm doing in the middle of a friggin' ice storm. The calves broke the uh, poly wire, the uh, one that's rope, and they are gone. And they've shot down there this steep ass hill. So I'm out in the middle of freaking woods in an ice storm. Well, not an ice storm, but you know, there's. We'll just look at the ice on the trees. <sighs> Never ever will I use that poly wire ever again. These calves are going to be on Lick Creek. You wait and see. Because you go to, you follow this holler, it goes all the way down to Lick Creek. <sighs> I'd like to think that they ended up over at Stevens where. There's a cow and a calf over there, but not going to happen. So I'm hoping they went down, couldn't get to Lick Creek, thank God. And they went up so far till they couldn't go no further, and they come back down. And hopefully they come back the way they came and went up towards Stevens. I'm hoping that's where they end up at. But nobody's called. But I'm hoping these here have just finagled out through here and found their way back to the rest but I'm not too confident on that so I got a feeling that they have just scattered well I am stumped I don't know I don't know where they have went to because right down there I followed the path up and I thought they were heading that way down the hill based on the tracks. Well, what it was is them few that was on that hillside come up and looped down, went down. And I went up the holler on this other side of the ridge. And there was a big tree that had, had, had fell. But the neighbor, uh, is a, his fence is across the creek, so it didn't touch the creek, I mean the fence. So... They turned around and come back. And truthfully, I don't know where they have went to. So I'm going to go back to the house, go out this road that goes out to my other farm and go to the property line and walk down the hill just in case they have went up and maybe cut back and found a place and went that way. So that's what I'm going to do. So I hope, I'd like to think that they have trailed up through there and went this way and I'll find their tracks up here. But as of right now, it ain't looking great. All right, no luck. But as you can see, they come here with a vengeance and the three strands here kept them in. And I have been over 95% of this property and I don't know, it's... I'm going back over my steps that I've taken to double check because the 5% I have not checked is right there at my house. So my wife is doing that as we speak. So I'm going back. I mean, they, they come over here and they was, uh, they weren't happy. It was, I was wanting oat oat they wanted so I'm retracing my steps to make sure I didn't miss a little spot that they have squeezed through that maybe I did not see so anyways stay tuned for an update right against the fence you can tell that they were uh, they were eyeballing it like come on I want to go that way I want to go this way so yeah, they, uh, they were not happy to be here, I guess. Even though they come running to me when I called them for feed. So, yeah, they were, uh, they were on a mission, that's for sure. All right, then. All righty. Well, I got them all back. They're all accounted for. They were, uh, just on a hillside over that way just hanging out 
I guess they were hiding from me because what I did is you just seen in the clip before this, I was down in the holler, you know, retracing my footsteps. And uh, I just kept calling them as I was walking around because in hopes I might hear one ball. And I heard one. And here she come out of the thicket. And uh, yeah, they all followed me, 14 of them. And I got, I, I thought I counted 15 when they come up over the bridge down there. But when I got them in here, there was only 14. I was like, crap, where? Where did that one go to? And I was like, I'll never find her. She by herself, who knows where she had taken off to. So I poured some feed in these bunk feeders. And right over here, I seen a black, the back of, of the calf is a black calf. Just barely come over the, the hump right there. Just all you could see was the back. And I was like, was that her? So I went back and got another bucket to come back. It was gone. I was well, maybe it was my dog Daisy because, you know, she's black and maybe she'd come up over there. Well, about the time I thought that, she'd come right around the nose of the tractor. You can see her foot tracks there. But uh, so I just opened this up. She'd come on in. So they got locked in here last night because... I gotta fix the fence down there and I gotta get me some fencing wire cause I'm out. So I'm gonna get the actual wire, not the poly wire, the rope stuff. Uh, it carries plenty of electricity to cross, but I don't know. I don't, I don't know if one got knocked through or if it wasn't just carrying enough current that maybe one pushed through it. I don't know because the power wasn't off very long maybe a half hour so maybe it was enough time for them to run into it and look oh look we can get out so anyways they're back so uh advice tip uh this is what saved me is making sure that all my fence was in good shape before they came here because i knew eventually i would turn them out 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 of this lot uh, just because I'm going to buy a group of cows. So anyways, uh, yeah, that's the tip. Make sure your fence is in tip-top shape or the best shape possible uh, because that's what kept them in is the fence was up. If I hadn't, they'd have been gone. They would actually, they'd be on Lit Creek. And you know, my truck's in the shop for a fuel leak that I couldn't find. And it was just a little bitty seal. And, uh, yeah, so my truck's not ready. It will, it will be ready until next week. So, anyway, I'm gonna fire up the Johnny Popper here and throw two of my kiddos in the tractor and take them down here and fix the fence and make them sit in the cab because I cannot leave them alone more than five minutes by themselves. So, anyways. Yeah, that ends, this concludes the, uh, where have all the cows gone?